one of the more famous, definitely in the last few years, and way overblown, in my opinion, cases of a top-level fighter losing his mobility due to knee issues was Sergio Maravilla Martinez. This is he in his prime moving against Kermit Cintron. Light on his feet, very mobile, almost never stops moving. However, at the same time, very flat-footed, pounding the canvas, flat-footed. Helped him with his power, I guess. Even though he moved a lot and he was very mobile, he would always pound that canvas. But he's light on his feet and very fast. This is an already deteriorated, old, some would say, Martinez versus Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Still had well, decent mobility. Still very fast, mobile, but not quite the same, not quite as fluid. A little bit more flat-footed even, just maybe falling off balance a little bit more. You could see the signs of deterioration already, but it wasn't that much. And it had a lot to do with the fact that he's put on a lot of weight too. You know, still a lot more mobile than the average fighter. Clearly he was, you know, getting older and deteriorating. This is Martinez against Miguel Cotto, a fight for which Miguel didn't get enough credit, in my opinion, because, well, Martinez's knees were shot, remember? He had those knee braces on him. Now, again, yes, he's older. Yes, he suffered a lot of injuries. And no, his mobility isn't what it used to be, but it's still better than the average fighter. And he's fighting a little guy. But look at how fast Miguel's feet are, right? How light on his feet he is. This is the best boxer that Martinez ever fought. By far. Martinez still got his mobility. He still moves all right. No, it's not the same, but it's, it's not bad. Miguel's just much better on his feet. He's got his legs still. They're still there. Come on, guys. He just can't hang with the pressure. He's fighting a top-level boxer. Arguably for the first time in his career. That's also a better mover. Has faster hands. He's just better. Gets cracked a little bit. And it looks like he stumbles just a little bit, right? Definitely not as mobile as he used to be. His feet not fast enough. It's, he's just not fast enough, period. His hands, his upper body. He, he's an older fighter, no doubt about it. But then he, then he gets cracked. Gets hurt. His legs are weak, gets hurt again, and the mobility's gone. This happens to a lot of fighters when they get hurt. Guess what? They lose their legs. <laughs> this happens to a lot of fighters when they're in the ring with somebody who is a better mover than them. They could cut the ring off on them, put them on the ropes, hurt them. He's standing his ground trying to get his lick back. And it gets put down again. Yep, a lot more stationary. Slower. Even more so than in the beginning. Because he's hurt. And he's in the ring with just a better fighter, with better feet, quicker in every way, shape, or form. So yeah, Martinez 
did deteriorate as he got older. But it was also his opponent's punches that deteriorated him even more. This is Martinez in his absolute physical prime, insofar as being light on his feet and his mobility. He, he's carrying less weight than in his absolute physical prime, but still good amount of muscle mass and very light and mobile. See? Still pretty flat-footed, though. To an untrained eye, he looked like a million bucks moving around Margarito in that first round. Schooling him. Yeah, right. No doubt great mobility, though, right? And then he starts getting caught. Maybe he's a little buzzed. Probably wants to get his lick back. All of a sudden, stops moving so much. Gets trapped, put on the ropes. Gets hit. Maybe a little bit buzzed. Maybe wants to get his lick back. All of a sudden, not as mobile. Not quite the same, right? He's getting broken down. Now he's just standing in front of Margarito taking a beating, right? Obviously, because his knees are shot. When I watch Artur Beterbiev, especially the way he moves in that ring, I don't really see any physical deterioration. Now, because he is the type of guy who uses minimal movement, is for the most part very technically sound when it comes to his feet. It's also easier to hide any physical deterioration as opposed to someone like Martinez who uses exaggerated movement, moves so much, it's a lot easier to notice physical deterioration with a guy like that. But even still... But Terbiev shows very good lateral movement. He, he's still cutting off the ring as well as he ever has, perhaps better. I mean, he just had his best performance against Smith. So, And we know that he lives the life, things of that nature, really takes care of himself. So there hasn't been this gradual deterioration that I can see with Artur Beterbiev physically. He is coming off a meniscus tear injury, they tell us. But we, we really don't know the extent of it, how bad it was. And when I did a little bit of research, minor tears like that, meniscus tears, take maybe four weeks or so to heal from completely for some people. People under 35, they say. Now, after being a top-level athlete and, you know, older than that, but maybe... Uh, you know, just he just looks so tough, doesn't he? He just looks like as um, I'll never forget this. Even though I'm, I may forget your name, Blue Collar Sports, as he stated in one of his videos a long time ago, the guy looks like he's made of wood. He just looks like a really tough guy, and like he's just built different. And because he is well preserved, and because you know, he has elevated levels of testosterone, whatever that means. And because he has access to, if he wants to, right? I don't know, maybe a TUE or just ways to get around testing or not get tested at all. He has access to substances that could rebuild his body much faster, right? Stem cell therapy. I mean, there's so many things these guys can do, having the money and blah, 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 and being a well-preserved 39 year old or so I'm going to throw this 35 year old out the window and I'm going to say that I trust his team would not have put him in the most important fight of his career at a point in time that wasn't advantageous for him or that would be disadvantageous to him okay with everything available to him how well preserved he is 
and not knowing the extent of this injury, but assuming that it wasn't that bad, there's this footage of him training probably right now, right? Go check it out. Does he look bad to you? Yeah, he's wearing knee braces, right? <laughs> I mean, maybe all boxers should from the very beginning to the end of their careers. Maybe, I don't know. In the ring anyway. I'm going to say he's going to be all right. You're, I'm not saying he's going to be the same as in his previous fight, but good enough. Recovered enough. But here's the deal. All fighters go through this. It's just not always publicized. Recently, Bebo's ex-wife came out and provided us with a list of injuries that he had, knees included. But when I watch Bevo, and when I watch Beterbiev, and I've said this in the past, oh, and by the way, Mark Ramsey just came out, did an interview with Kevin Ioli and called Bevo, wait for it, mechanical and predictable, robotic. Anyway, I don't see any major signs of deterioration with Paterbiev. If anything, he's gotten better to my eye. And I do see obvious signs of deterioration with Dimitri Bivol. I won't waste your time with the footage that might get taken down anyway. But go watch him versus Barrera. And then watch him against someone like Zinad or even Surto Ramirez. The movement's not quite the same. From an athletic standpoint, I think he's missed a step. So his wife, who's, let's be frank, is just playing herself because who the fuck's going to want her after seeing her for who she really is? Not defending Bevo, but, you know. And when I watch some of these interviews between fights when he's maybe not in training camp or not close to any fight, probably in the gym though. When I look at Dimitri Bivo, I'm sure all of you have noticed. He looks bad. What's going on with all that swelling in his face? What is all of that? Well, the jowls, the bags under his eyes, his cheeks are all full and, and, it's just all these irregularities in this face. It's all lumpy. Some of that is scar tissue, but I mean, his lips look bigger. His ears look bigger. What is it, guys? Well, probably corticosteroids. Prednisone, prednisolone. Things that athletes take to bring down inflammation. The side effects thereof being bloating, swelling. Hands, face, feet. He's coping with a lot of issues, a lot of injuries. And maybe taking some straight up roids too, right? He doesn't even look like the same guy. And you never used to see this with him between fights six or seven years ago. This is a recent development. What his wife is saying has to be true. Look at him. And I think it shows in their respective performances. It's definitely a concern going into this fight. But Terbiev's meniscus injury. But I mean, look at this guy. You know what I mean? So if anybody, to my eye, Looking at all the evidence that's available. If anybody has been broken down from their prime by boxing, the rigors of the game. Well, it's definitely both of them. But Bivo more so than Beterbiev, in my opinion. And when it comes to the way they move in the ring, it's actually Bivo's movement that makes him more injury prone. But Terbiev, who is a lot more reserved in the way he moves, a lot more minimal, he doesn't overextend himself as much. He's actually more likely to keep his shit together. It's kind of like playing football, soccer, out on the pitch or indoor. When you're playing football indoors and 
the ball is bouncing off the walls or changing directions rapidly the um, the field is a lot smaller so you have to stop and turn the other way you got you got to do a lot of that sort of movement and it's and you have a lot more grip too you're actually a lot more likely to injure your knees to twist a funny way hurt an ankle whatever right because of how rapidly you sometimes have to change direction and how much grip you have on the surface right to me but there be of the types of wear and tear he puts on his knees legs ankles is more akin to a football player out on the pitch versus Bevo he's more playing indoor both guys got their wear and tear but i mean Bevo's looking worse for wear in my view it is he who will be more affected by leg ankle knee injuries than someone like Batergiev simply because of how he likes to move how exaggerated his movements are versus Batergiev who really keeps his shit a lot more tight tighter so a lot is being said about Batergiev's injury and fair enough it's definitely a concern but i mean look at this guy <laughs>